Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you today something I've learned from a video I've, sh I've seen and I just stumbled upon it. It's uh, from Treasure Books and I think uh, it's uh, Natasha is her name and I will put a link below uh, in the description box to her video. She's got a great channel and I'm going to go over how to make a faux handmade paper and this is just I'm addicted it's great I'm going to show you some uh, some samples of what I've already done so you can uh, see what you can do and this is just printer paper which is great to transfer something so uh, common and cheap to something uh, so beautiful like this that will look like hand, handmade paper now uh, another example I've done it on not on printing paper on a piece of a bigger piece of paper I had and made this a uh, cover so I will go over a lot of options uh, of how you can make it but basically it's up to you and your imagination all the materials are really a uh, you can find it in every household so that's what's great about it and I'm uh, stressing check her video because she's doing other th stuff that I don't and you will get more ideas of what you can do so moving this aside and we'll start with the basic printer paper and you need to work on something that will not stick you need a plastic bag of some kind and what I've done is most of my uh, papers are uh, were tea dyed but I want to show you without the tea dye what you can do and then what you can do with a page that was already tea dyed and I was a uh, because I wasn't sure I had a lot of uh, dried uh, flowers, leaves to use, I decided that I want to uh, stamp first my page and I'm just, I just uh, took small uh, stamp of some kind of plant and went all over like this and you can do as much as you want as less as you want again these are just up to your imagination and basically when you are if you are doing this kind of thing you are stamping first you need to be sure that the ink is dry because uh, when the there is going to be a lot of glue here and it's going to spread so for this um, for this I'm not going to uh, wait I just want to show you uh, basically what is what is uh, <laughs> what is going to be on this page and how it's uh, transformed so white glue uh, here I've got like a one third of a uh, of water to do a uh, thirds of glue white glue just so it will spread more easily and just know that it will absorb quite quickly into the print printer paper so you need quite a lot of glue and here comes the option here I've got uh, grains from tea that uh, I've already used I've done the tea dye and then I've dried it and now I've got all this tea uh, tea mixture leaves now a lot of options uh, to put here all kinds of dried leaves and petals if you don't have them then you've got potpourri that at least here I can buy them uh, in my cheap store all kinds of meshes like this or this gauze all, uh, also can go here 
I've used raffia. Uh, this is natural one. So like I'm I will take this and make sure whatever you are using and you can use glitter, you can use whatever you want that it's not too bulky. You need something that will add to the hole but it has to be a kind of flat so I tried to add to my stuff natural things like raffia and but I don't have a lot of stuff so I used also meshes like this and basically use your imagination you can use threads, all kinds of uh, threads. You can trim uh, feathers, all kinds of stuff can go here. Now, I also have the tea bag uh, paper, if you can call it paper. You can also use this on your page. You can take pieces and put randomly like this and it kind of looks messy and it doesn't look good right now but it all it will all come to something beautiful even though it's only printer paper so so basically you put whatever you want you can use a uh, rice paper you can use uh, pieces of mulberry paper things with fibers are great i also have this kind of fibers i don't know they were in my cheap store and basically they are a I don't know what you're supposed to do with them, but uh, I thought it would be great for all kinds of uh, mixed media uh, projects, so I bought it. And as you can see, I can also put it here. So next, after you dis you you've, uh, lay down uh, all the pieces that you want uh, inside, all you need is the backing of a paper napkin, the white one and I like to scrunch it, I like it to have wrinkles and now I'm going to just put it here now you can use this or you can use if you've got rice paper also will look great on it although rice paper is more expensive than just using the back of the napkins so now comes a lot of glue again and be sure to use uh, the flat of the brush and to push everything down so it will stick and move from one side to the other so you won't have air bubbles you need uh, your brush to slide and not drag the paper napkin especially that now you have some texture underneath that can uh, tear the paper napkin and be sure to do the edges that's why I'm using a plastic bag underneath because when it's dry I can peel it off easily without damaging not the paper and not the paper napkin so smoothing everything out I still have wrinkles which is great for the page and this is quite white and it will stay like this even when it's uh, dry you can leave it uh, as is or you can work on it uh, more after it's dried you can add 
watercolors and sprays and glitter again this is endless uh, the things you can do to it so this is one example and it was white paper uh, so I'm moving this and I want to show you another example and again plastic uh, here I've got tea dyed paper this is printer paper and if you don't know or haven't done it before a uh, tea dyeing paper I just take four a uh, four bags of tea for a little cup teacup and let it steep of, of course and squeeze it I take the tea bags and dry them so I will have this and of course the the paper the, of the tea bag and I just smear on top of uh, my printer paper the the tea and if I don't like it and it's not uh, as dark as I like I will use some of my handmade homemade <laughs> sprays these are from gel food coloring free few drops of gel food coloring with water and I will spray it and it doesn't have to be a uh, brown you can also spray whatever a uh, color you like you can use a colored printer paper like this you can do whatever you want and just for the example I had this uh, this was some drop paper from my desk and I went with a lot of um, watercolors on top and I didn't know what to do with it and I transformed it to this. All I've done is stamp again, stamped in the background some leaves, uh, spread some tea and raffia and I've done the same process that you've seen me do and after that and everything was dry I went again and added some blue watercolor because I wanted this to look more blue so and sh options are endless for this uh, kind of stuff and just to show you another one here is one that I've already stamped and again you can uh, use whatever kind of mesh that you want and I forgot to put a lot of glue so let's put glue and I hope the ink already dried here And it doesn't the if you are going for a stamping then it doesn't have to be leaves you can do whatever you want I've done several with all kinds of uh, background stamps like swirls and it really doesn't matter it's really up to you and what you want so I'm just trying to take pieces of this kind of mesh most of these meshes I think are used uh, by florist for flower arrangements and I don't know why it was in the craft section in my cheap store but who cares win-win for me so <laughs> and there are all kinds of colors that you can use and I can't stress enough how uh, it's just up to your imagination you can use skeleton leaves and you can also use even uh, all kinds of uh, fake flowers like let's add some uh, what do I have here fake flowers and I can take this part I'm not going to use the 
the plastic bit. I'm going to use the petals bit. Just taking this apart. Not as easy as it uh, looks, but here we go, petals, <laughs> fake ones <laughs> for the fake uh, handmade paper. It's really fun to do this, and I said already said it. It's uh, quite addictive because you can use a lot of stuff to make it. So, it really uh, is adding some color to my page, which I really like. Let's do a little bit more. I will show you another finished one and go over some more options. So, okay, so this is quite finished, and again, backing of paper napkin. Putting it on top. And I'm doing flattening it uh, easily and gently, but I want wrinkles. And again, going over with the glue. Now, it depends on the quality of the paper napkin. Sometimes it will go almost completely uh, transparent once glued and dried and sometimes you will have more white showing and again you can still work on it once it's dry and add color and add all kinds of details Here I didn't use uh, the tea leaves, so again it doesn't have to be with tea leaves, just what you want to be on your page. And moving this aside. So here is one that I did beforehand and as you can see it's dried and now I can peel it easily from the paper bag uh, from the plastic bag and here it is now I uh, this was a light blue paper a printer paper that I've stamped I've used some raffia here and don't even remember what else I've <laughs> put on this page and I think I also sprayed it a little bit with my, one of my uh, handmade uh, sprays. And now I'm just going to trim the excess. And again, this is uh, it can I can leave it as is, or I can still work on it once now that it's dry and of course as I said you, it doesn't have to be a printer paper printer paper is just cheap and accessible so I wanted to show you uh, how to do it on printer paper now, if I don't like how it looks, I can still add to it and I will put the plastic bag here. 
I can spray it more and add if I want it more brown like this and I can even add some gold splatter this uh, this is some spray uh, it's supposed to be for textile I use it in all my projects because it's uh, more fluid and here we go just some gold splatter I can also uh, keep on and glue other stuff to it but basically this is it so moving this aside which this is also what needs to dry and let's go over some of the paper I made okay so here I've got I had some paper this is printer paper and I had uh, it was already sprayed with some blue uh, spray uh, from my sprays and I figured this would be nice to play around and see how it looks so as you can see quite nice I had all the brown and the blue spray in the back these are pieces from uh, potpourri and again this this is white printer paper that I uh, tea dyed and stamped with uh, some kind of stamp but with purple ink so the little bit uh, that you see in the back are some of this and also pieces of a uh, purple potpourri so again stamped in the background with some uh, light blue ink and this uh, orange and yellow uh, stuff is from potpourri here uh, is an example of using a stamp uh, a background stamp i've used some swirly uh, stamp in the back and i've used uh, some fibers from one of these meshes that you've seen me use and i've got the tea leaves uh, in the back so this is it and as you can see i've got here areas that are more white if i don't like them i can still i can add tea dye i can spray them with my brown uh, spray i can do uh, more work on top of it i can add glitter i can add the gold uh, splatter or whatever you want let's see what this one was a light, light green uh, printer paper and as you can see there is no trace of uh, the color on the top i've stamped i've put green tea uh, leaves and all kind of stuff I uh, now I just don't remember each one uh, this one was um, this is printer paper but it already had a design I want to see if I can show you I think I have it here and let's see yeah I have it here just so you can see the difference it started as this and I figured I already had I've basically it got pushed back but it's adding to the whole uh, thing of uh, this handmade paper so this is another way to go so you can also use uh, if you've got any kind of uh, paper with some kind of design you can also do on top of that I figured that uh, you can even use some um, wrapping paper of course it depends on the design but you can uh, work on wrapping paper and do whatever you want on top of it so again some of the swirly uh, stamp in the background tea leaves and raffia and here I when it was dry I've just sprayed it with this brown spray another uh, example only this time i've used some purple mesh and 
So basically this is it here. I've got the blue um, um, fibers from the mesh and here I stamped a lot of leaves, uh, blue leaves in the background and I've got also the tea and some pieces from uh, potpourri in the back and then I sprayed, when it was dry I sprayed it again to add some more color. So basically this is it and I hope you will have fun with it and go crazy <laughs> with this. I can't stop making this kind of paper. So thank you for Natasha from Treasure Books for introducing me to this kind of <laughs> craft and thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.